Church and Win today. My name is Nathan. I am going to read a, I'm going to read a poem for all the fathers. My dad, my father is a man like no other. He gave me life, natured me, taught me, dressed me, helped me and shouted at me, kissed me, but most importantly loved me unconditionally. There are not enough words I can say to describe just how important my father is to me and what a powerful influence he continues to be. I love you, Dad. God bless you and all the fathers in the house. Thank you. Good morning, church and win today. My name is Kamohelo. I would just like to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers in the church, but most importantly, Prophet Isaka. We'd like to thank him for always being there for us and a father to all of us in the church. A role model to all the children in the Sunday school. We'd like to thank God for bringing him here and delivering all of us, helping us preach and learn. Thank you. Good morning, church. I would like to pray for all the special fathers in the church. I thank you, Lord, for bringing all the fathers in the church to, the, to this home. I thank you for helping them, guiding them through every tough challenge. Lord, Father, I ask you to bless them. Whatever they're going through, they shall prosper. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. Good morning, church. Uh, today is Father's Day, and our dad in the Lord is Father. Is he a father? Yes. If he's a father, can you put your hands together for him, please? Yes. Daddy, these are your sons and daughters here present this morning. We want to express our profound gratitude, our love, our appreciation for all you've been doing for this ministry, selfless service, service above self, in pain, in agony, rain, sunshine, you are there for us. This morning, the whole sense here are seated present, those viewers all over the world, and the leadership of all the organs of this ministry, we want to show a token of gratitude and appreciation for all you've been doing for us. I don't think there is anyone here who is not happy. If you're happy, can you make some noise? Even Zimbabwe is here. Our prophetess from Zimbabwe sent our pastor here to equally present the gift from the ministry so that you see that Shekena is moving from strength to strength. Can we make some noise for our brothers from Zimbabwe? <laughs> amen and amen. May I crave your indulgence, since you are present, to call upon our President General to present the gift of the men's fellowship, the great, mighty men of valor. Present our gift to the Prophet. Can you clap for him as he's presenting the gift? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir. Uh, let me call upon my brother, my pastor from another mother, my second home, Zimbabwe, and you are here, we thank mama for sending you to represent the ministry. May you please present the gift from the ministry.
to our daddy in the Lord. Okay. Go and shake hands. Go and shake hands. The blessing is coming from there. Thank you. Um, I know that I will call our mamas first. Because if you don't call the women of divine connection, you know that this night you are not going to eat. They will not give you food. So please, women of faith, divine connection, please present your gift to the servant of God. And I would like you to say one or two things before you present your gift. Because I know what women can do. Good morning, church. I'm not the one speaking today. Uh, I've got my tribe with me. Women, two women on my left, two on the right, who will be speaking and handing over the gifts to Prophet. Happy Father's Day, our dad, our prophet. Mama, can you say something? Good morning, church. Baba, Prophet Isaac Siabonga, Baba. The present day, Ipuma, Ugo, Ugo, Mama. present mama but happy father's day Wow, I am short of the word. Amen. But I say thank you, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. And uh, the women of faith, women of divine connections, women of power, women of meekness, hey. women of love, I want to say thank you. See you all. And I want to say my tabas. Amen. Happy Father's Day. We thank God for giving you what he gave and you kept it. You didn't keep it to yourself, but it flowed to us. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Bonjour, Papa. Merci beaucoup, bonjour. Bon fête, Papa. Amen, merci. Merci beaucoup. Amen. 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 Merci. Merci, Jésus. Merci. Well, she speaks in my native language. I'm, remember, I'm native of all tribes and nations and language, you know. I know you know. Hallelujah. So she's glorifying God. She said, thank you. May the Lord prolong life. May the Lord bless me. And uh, I will say, merci beaucoup. And merci Jesus. Amen. Good, good morning, men of God. Good, good morning. morning, daddy. Amen. Good morning, Papa. I am standing here on behalf of the whole men of this church, men of Divine Mind connection. <laughs> uh, this is a token of our appreciation. You have been a father to us. I love you the first day I, I met you because love is written all over your face. You're always smiling. You're always wanting good for us. You fight for us. People of God, you should have seen him in the in the mountain, he was fighting hell for us. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we appreciate you. Thank you. We love you so much. You. I love you too. Love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Um, I want to call on our charity arm of the church, Save a Dying Soul. And what a wonderful combination of our two sisters. This one is Joyce. This one is Joy. So joy plus joy equals to joy. So And we are in the month of what? Divine joy. So the two joy will give us joy today and present their gift to our daddy. Joy and Joyce. Good morning, Prophet. Good morning. Let me say thank you uh, and happy Father's Day. Thank we thank God for your life. Thank you. We thank you because you're not father to the congregation here. You. You're also father outside to the orphans, to the elderly outside there, the people in the street. You. You're taking care of them. Thank you. We'd like to say thank you very much. And may God bless and continue to enlarge your territory. Amen. Let's clap for Master Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, wow. we have our wonderful youth, the youth group. We have seen them here perform with the energy and with vigor and with vibrancy. So may I call on the leader of the youth to present their gift. So please... Present your gift to the servant of God. Papa, this is from SGFM Youth. We just want to give you this gift. One thing that, Papa, and in front of all the congregation, is that you are a father figure to all of us. The fatherless and even to the fathers, you are our father figure. You are our mentor, our spiritual father. And that we may give a gift, but we pray that our heavenly father above gives you the biggest gift today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We want Amen. to say we honor you. We honor the anointing that is upon your life. We pray for more grace and more anointing on your life as well. Amen. And we also want to thank you for always giving us the opportunity to show case our talents and our potentials and that one thing that you have always reminded us the best gift we can give you is to remain in the presence of God and we want to say thank you so much thank you thank you our wonderful youth I will hand over the microphone for the father of the house in the person of our papa Baba Selema Good morning, church. Good morning. So today is a very big day. And then I would like to thank Prophet. So it's a gift to all of us from God. So yesterday what happened to the men, we really resurrected. Amen. And then by the fruit, you'll see us. And then I think he has put a very, very, very very, very strong seed through us. And then only testimonies will come afterwards. Thank you very much, Prophet. Thank you, sir. Good morning. I want to thank each and every one of you. I want to thank each and every one of us. I want to thank all the department, the men, the women, the youths, the uh, seven dying soul. I want to say thank you so much. And I want to thank the viewers because I tell you, as this gift is coming here, it's coming from the viewers also. So I want to say thank you to every one of you. Thank you. We love you. We love you. And I love you all. In the name of Jesus Christ. And well... Today, I wanted to use Shambok because I sat down and I studied. I talked to my father. I talk, I talk, I talk. 
So after discussion, I said, okay, let me come out and give Shambok. But now you people make me sit down. So, no more Shambok. No more Shambok. No more Shambok. And I want to say I love you all. Thank you so much. Wherever the finances, the resources has come from, the energy, may the Lord replenish with each and every one of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. But once again, I want to say something. The best gift you give to me is to be in the presence of God. Because when your heart is not with me, then you are not with me. Seeing your body, whether you are short, whether you are tall, whether you wear cloth, whether you don't wear cloth, it's not my business. My business is your heart. Because when, my, when your heart is connected to my father, you will wear cloth, you will live in the best house, you will drive the best car. Your children will be the best. So your heart first. And where, how do you come about it? It's by being in his presence. When you are in his presence, he gives you everything. I don't want anybody here to walk to come to church. I want you to drive the best car to come to church. I want you to take the best car, go and bring people from Soweto, Alex, Zimbabwe, Lesotho, Botswana, uh, Swaziland, Mozambique, bring people from there with your car, free to come and serve God. Arrange evangelism over there. We go there, we deliver the children of God and bring their heart back to God. That's the best gift. That's the best gift. I love this and I appreciate every one of you. But the best gift you can give to me is to remain steadfast in his presence. Then demon will not have a room to attack you. They will not get, have that gateway to attack you. So I want to say thank you to every one of you. And I will be more grateful to my father if only you can give your heart to him. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If only you can forsake negative thoughts negative imaginations. If only you can leave them and look at my father, just as the Bible said in Psalm 121, I told you in this church, the two Psalms, you must never fail any day of your life to read Psalm 1, Psalm 121. All the days of your life, you must read that Psalm. Psalm 1 and Psalm 121. Every day of your life, you wake up in the morning, you read it. You are walking on the road, you read it. You are in the bed, you read it. You are going, you wake up midnight, you read it. This Psalm one, these two Psalms never depart from you. You are the tree that is planted by the rivers of water. So you must prosper. And where does your help come from? From above. When you realize that you are the tree and you look unto your father to water you, how, why is it that you cannot be watered? Is it possible? You'll be watered. Say, blessed is the man that walketh not in the castle of ungodly, nor stand in the wall of sinners, nor stand in the seat of scaffolds. For he delights is in the law of the Lord, and his Lord that he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, and whatever you do, he prosper. Say, the ungodly are not so. They are like the shafts which the winds drives away. They are like the shafts which the wind drives away. Therefore, the ungodly will not be in his presence forever. Never. Never. And then you come to Psalm 121, I'll lift up my eyes onto the hills. From whence come in my help. My help come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth me will not slumber nor sleep. Because he that keepeth Israel will not slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shadow upon my right hand. The sun shall not smite me by the day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve me from all evil. The Lord shall preserve my soul. And the Lord shall preserve my going out and my coming in from this time forth and forevermore. How can you pray that prayer every day? Can I tell you, even if you eat poison, it will not harm you. If anybody comes to destroy you, as soon as you look at you and you recite that psalm, they walk away. Never. No bullet will enter your body. No charm will enter your body. Because your help comes from from the Lord who made heaven and earth. 
He said, the sun shall not smite you by the day, nor the moon by night. Who is that to harm you then? If God shatters you during the day and shatters you during the night, who is going to harm you? It's impossible. It's impossible. I tell you in this church, every day you must read those two Psalms. And then you watch and see what will become of you. But one thing, when you're reading this Psalm, the moment you go to Nyanga, you will have the biggest problem in your life. Because my father is a jealous father. He said, I share not my glory with any man. I do not share it. I do not share it. Because I'm jealous. I am like a man who's, who look after the wife very well. When the wife makes kolo kolo karara, <laughs> you know, the man will provoke. But after provoke, he come down. He must forgive because he's a man, he's a father. But it's not good. The father is very jealous. But after that, he say his anger endures for a moment. Just for a moment. So I want to say thank you to all of you. Thank you. The Lord bless you. Good morning. 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 Good morning and good morning. Please have your seat. And I want to say good morning to everyone.